Let's go work out. Yeah. So we're meeting Crix Luther here at Nihon Gym to work on the strength and conditioning part of the six week six pack challenge. Let's see how it goes. What's up, Chris? How are you doing today? What's the plan? One second. 998, 999, 1,000. Oh, uh, you work on your counting. Yeah. How are you, buddy? <laughs> how are you? I'm good. Good, good. So, uh, what do we want to do? What's, what's the goal for today? Uh, today, we're going to do some uh, correctional exercises, starting okay. with the deadlift, which for me, I believe, is one of the best exercises for the back. And as we know, you have a, a few back issues. So, but it's kind of dangerous. I want to spend a good Time, a good amount of time teaching you this with correct form and everything. All right, that sounds awesome, man. Let's get started. All right. So how do we do this? All right, well, this is uh, an Olympic bar, which I want you to start with, which is about 20 kilograms. But first, let's warm up the motor pattern and teach you the right uh, form with just this PVC pipe okay. here. Yeah? So normally, a deadlift, you hold it one hand under, one hand over. Yeah? But for you, for correctional purposes, I want you to have both hands underneath. Yeah? The external rotation of the upper arm is coupled with the thoracic extension, which is what one of our problems is. You have too much internal rotation, so you have this kyphotic posture. So we want you to be out like this. Okay. And having that other hand out like that will help. Yeah? So you're going to start here. You're going to have the slight 20 degree bend in your knees, like so. And then you're going to hinge from the hips. You're going to bend over, like so. Still keeping this thoracic extension, this chest out, all the way down to the bar reaches so around your kneecaps to start with, and then you're going to pull back up. So you're actually going to have the weight lowered over your center of, of gravity. Yeah? Okay. So it's going to feel like it's pulling you forward a little bit, but that's the point of uh, the dead. Sure. Yeah? So just give that a go nice and easy. That's it. Relax the arms. Good. And then come back up. <laughs> yeah, so keep the legs bent. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this right across your back and I want you to touch it in between your shoulder blades right in between your butt cheeks and your head too so put the head so you've got three points now so move your head a little bit further forward so you've got one two three now I want you to do that same motion you just did but keep all three points on this PVC bar here that's it beautiful keep going so I can get my fingers there good and then come back up and now what I want on the next rep, come all the way up, all the way up, nice and tall, nice and proud. What I want on the next rep, you see I can get my fingers underneath here. I want you to keep that gap, yeah? So you have that natural lumbar curve, and if you feel, if I can't get my fingers underneath there, then I need more curve. That's it, so you want to stick your butt out a bit more. So don't arch your, uh, bend your back, arch it, the opposite. It's looking a lot better, a lot better. All right. <coughs> So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be doing that to help fix the posture, to help with your thoracic extension, to counteract the too much internal rotation, and also to help with the uh, hyperlordosis you've got here. Okay. Yeah? yeah? And the deadlift is probably one of the best exercises for hitting that all in one. All right, so what's next? So next we're going to have this apparatus here, yeah? We're doing right. a bent over mo row motion. So what I want you to do here, and similar to the deadlift, have those legs nice and bent, and you're going to bend over here, and you keep a nice, straight, neutral spine, yeah? keeping that lumbar curve intact. Then you're going to grab here, just slightly raise it off the floor, and then from there, you're going to pull up into your stomach, like so. Okay. Yeah? Now, what muscle sets are we working on this? Now, this uh, primarily is the back, so you've got your trapezes involved, you've got your lats and your biceps as secondary movers. Okay, yeah. But what in particular I want you to do is a lot of people they have this syndrome called sloppy shoulders where their shoulders are relaxed and they just pull up like this. What I want you to do is to lock your lats down, <coughs> push your shoulders down, and when you pull in, I want you to contract your shoulder blades, okay. yeah, what we call scapular mm -hmm. abduction on every single rep. And then you hold that position. At no point do you relax afters like that. You hold that position and come up. One, two, three, all the way up to ten. Okay. So give this a go, and when you finish, keep that neutral spine and lower it with your legs. Yeah? Right. And from there, lock the lats down, unshrug the shoulders, and then pull in and squeeze my finger of your shoulder blades on every rep. That's it, scapular abduction right there. Good. And this is going to help, again, with the external rotation and also with your wing scapula 
that problem that we have here. Mm -hmm. It's really going to develop right in the middle of your back, this thoracic part of your spine. you got some homework here. All right. So what I want you to do, take these bands at home. Right. Um, they're pretty good, they're resistance bands. And I want you to tie them onto any sort of beam or door handle, something sturdy like so. All right. Just a simple thing like that. And what I want to get you to do is, one, is a face pull. So you're going to stand back here. And you're just going to put it to your nose and back again. Yeah? You call it the face pull and pray that it doesn't snap. So what you're going to do, <laughs> again, contract your shoulder blades, have that scapula that abduction, the okay. same thing. But this time I want you to do multiple reps. I want you to do about 20 or 30 reps, like okay. so, yeah? Give yourself a 45 second break and then do another set. Okay. The other exercise is for a rear delt exercise. Again, emphasizing external rotation, because we have the internal problem. Mm -hmm. And just this motion here, yeah? Okay. Nice and slow. And I want you to do it for a count of one, two, three, four. Pause for one second. One, two, on the release. Oh, do I need this one. Yeah, this is just a, a little bit thicker. So if you find towards the end of the, the rep range that you're, you know, you're not really feeling much of a workout going on, you can upgrade. So some exercises might feel a little bit hard, some might feel a bit easier. So you're gonna take this one, and this is another exercise. And again, it's just pure external rotation yeah, for your wing scapula. Yeah? We're just developing the back, and which is gonna be great and ideal for you for your rock climbing goal. If you have a, a bit of a, a weak back problem, so this is going to help you perfectly. <laughs>